Okay. Here's here we can start. It is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, you look so pretty this morning. You look pretty. You're ready, we're ready. Let's go. Okay, we're ready. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much. On behalf of the Miramar Pepper Pines Regional Chamber of Commerce, we are here to celebrate the ribbon cutting for boot barns. So whoever likes boots, anything with leather, look at my earring. Yeah. And also hats, anything. You want to dress up for the day, want to go to anywhere around here, Davy specialty, come on over. We have everything for you. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. We're here for you. So, with that said, to kick us off, Mr. Mark Lewiskin, our board chair, Principal Financial. Thank you, Patty. It's been a while since we did a ribbon cutting. It's almost been a month. We love doing ribbon cuttings. This is a, it's a business, it's a new business here, especially in Number Pines. But before we go into the ceremony, I just want to introduce a couple of my board members. Thank you. Congratulations, Tiffany Pansiero with Boyd Pansiero Funeral Homes. We're all about the living, don't worry. <laughs> Good afternoon, my name is Michael Blinko, First Family with Health Insurance. No, that's it, that's, that's, that's board members. Thank you for yes. being here and supporting a new member over here. All right, let me introduce you to our state representative, Robin Bartleman, who wants to say a few words. Yes. First, I'd like to welcome Boot Barn to District 103. It's very exciting to have you here. And so my area is Weston, Pember Pines, West Miramar, a little bit of Sunrise, so we'll all be shopping here. More importantly, I wanna welcome you to the chamber because being a chamber means you're part of a family. And you'll see we'll all be together. Actually, I'm thinking, Patty, of Cowboy Day, Boot Day, we'll have a Boot Day breakfast. And to celebrate Boot Barn, I think that's a really good idea. We'll have to come in here and get some leather boots. <laughs> now I'm gonna pass it off. But congratulations. Now I'm passing you off to the mayor. And he's very important. You have to go to get bagels with him. So here he is. Well, thank you, State Representative. Well, what a place. What a great smell when you walk in. And uh, we want to thank you for taking uh, your business at Pembroke Pines. We've got a great establishment here, a great view. Pines Boulevard is one of the busiest uh, areas around. So we know you're going to do a lot. My wife, I'm buying her a shirt already. So, so seriously, thank you. The chamber is so very important because we want everybody to tell somebody, go shop at that, that place. It's so important to us. Now let me visit, not me. <laughs> let me introduce the Vice Mayor of City of Pepper Pines, Iris Seiko. Thank you, thank you, Mayor. And we're so glad that everybody's here today to come out and support yet another fabulous business opening its doors in the city of Pember Pines. We are so very, very happy and proud that you chose Pember Pines to come here. And I'm going to tell you, you stand here and you kind of look back there, and I said to one of the gentlemen that's working here, if they don't have it here, it just don't exist anywhere. They have everything here. We need to come out and support them. Get those boots, get those fancy belts and buckles, and everybody looks good in a cowboy hat. So you gotta do it, you gotta do it. Welcome, thank you. Where about Halloween? <laughs> All right, before we introduce you, Robert, I just wanted to let you know a little about our chamber, because I think we have the best chamber, not only in the state, but in the country. Yeah. Well, last year, just to let you know, we won the Chamber of the Year Woo! in Florida. But we, um, it's been a while. Since I've asked uh, Patty Rory. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Patty, as of today, how many members do we have? 787. 787. 787 people. What does it mean? That means that a lot of people don't know you're here yet. One important thing is the chamber does work, but it's what you put into it is what you get back out on it. We have our networking events, we have ribbon cuttings, we have breakfasts, we have uh, over 150 people going there. It works. And we'd like to see you being active in there. So no further ado on that, Robert, would you like to say a few words? So, they, uh, now you said microphone. Okay. Uh, thank you all for coming out. This is, I am totally blown away by this. Absolutely. I thought it'd be like, you know, half a dozen people, a ribbon cut, let's go, bye-bye. So I very much appreciate all of you coming out for this. 
And uh, so just a little about Book Barn. We started in 1978, one little store in California. We're growing up to 400 stores as of next year, March. We'll be in all 48 continental states. Uh, we are publicly traded. If anybody knows who Jim Cramer is on CNBC, uh, this company is one of the hot eyes for the last three years uh, and still is. So growing companies still growing well. So uh, it will bring a lot of foot traffic into Pembroke Pines from other cities, Miami, Davie, Palm Beach. There'll be a lot of people coming into Pembroke Pines to come visit us because we're the only game in town. All right, so uh, thank you so much for the uh, opportunity and uh, thank you so much. All right, we're ready to do the ribbon cutting. The mayor has his own way of doing this. You gotta listen to him. <laughs> All right. All right, don't do anything yet. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Just right at the top. That's it. That's it. So here we are. Here we are at the booth bottom making an official a Pembroke Pines business, a beautiful Pembroke Pines business. And this is how we uh, we welcome you to Pines. We go one, two, three, pose. <laughs> and one, two, three, cut. cut. Yeah. Congratulations. Patty? Yeah. All right. Okay, one picture of me or one more. Let's go all the way over here. Let's let's see how many we can fit in there. Should we take a nice picture, all of us?